Pretty happy with the terms, the contract? Yeah, obviously really excited by the um, the contract extension and um, just really happy that it's out of the way at this time of year and um, now I can just focus on the next few years of playing some good footy and, and continuing to grow. So, um, yeah, really happy with um, with how I've sort of settled into Perth now and, and ready to move on in my career. Would you be passing that advice on to Gal? Um, oh, yeah, I'd love him to stay around. Um, if it helps him, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, he'll, he'll deal with that with the club and um, I'm sure it'll look after itself. You said you know, concentrated footy. Was it important for you to get stuff, all the contract stuff out of the way before a season begins? Yeah, it, it is. I, I, I'm never too sort of worried about it and um, it sort of just floats away in the background. But to have it done now before the season starts, I think is um, is a great thing for me. And, um, it, you know, it can I can shift my focus purely to the footy and, and the job at hand. So. Um, for me, it's just a just a peace of mind thing. Because you're obviously Victorian, so there's always the lure of home. It's a, it's a long time in, in front, 2021. What what made you so happy to sign? Into oh, it's it's the club really, and Perth. I've loved my time here so far, and, and the three years that I have been here, the club have been great to me, and obviously built a, a great network of friends and um, the footy family. So um, that that's the basis of the decision. Really, is um, the club. I love it, and and this is where I want to play my footy. On the field, what do you think the club can achieve during? Oh, it's it's really exciting. We've got um we've got a fresh new list, obviously, and um I, I want to be a part of helping that list develop and grow. And um you know we've still got a great group of senior players that are ready to lead the charge. And hopefully, within this next contract period, I'm stepping into that into that category as well. So that's an aim of mine. And and we've got some new facilities on the way. We're obviously playing at Perth Stadium from now on. So um it's just it's good times ahead. Yeah, there's a lot of people tipping that Eagles probably have to go through a bit of a dip before coming back up again. How do you see things? Oh, I, I don't think that's, um, you know, it's, it's yet to be seen. So we have um, we say at the, at the start of every year we're, we're equal first and that's the way we're approaching this year. And um, the weekend obviously wasn't a great look for us, but there was no points at stake and um, it's going to light a little bit of a fire for, the, for us at the start of the season. What do you say to your fans after the weekend? There's been a bit of panic, you know, the Eagles are slow. And what do you say to the critics who have lined up in the last few days? Oh, yeah, it was... <laughs> There's not much to say. It was, a, it was a pretty disappointing performance, obviously, but um, the best thing about it was we were still trying a few new things. Um, we're going to learn from it. We've got two weeks to implement what we need to improve on. So um, we've had a pretty good pre-season block and our form is building. Um, and the challenge is that we just don't turn that into a pattern. So um, we're not at all worried for the start of the year and um, we think we'll hit it with, with everything we've got. How much experimentation does go on in, the, in those games? Obviously, there's a little bit in, in injury and, and health of the list can determine that sometimes too. Um, we've got a, a new look forward line, you could say. It's probably the, the freshest look we've got. But um, it, yeah, it's a time to, to try a few new things, a couple of new plays, uh, some new stoppage setups, whatever it is. Um, now's the time to do it, and every club would have done it. So um, now we'll knuckle down and see what works for us, and, and we'll use that for round one. Do you feel ready for round one yet, or do you need these next couple of weeks to prepare for it? Um, I think physically we're, we're ready to go. and. Um, tweaking a few things. Our game plan's set and, and we're going to back that in 100%. Um, it was probably a mindset thing on the weekend too. We just we just didn't bring it like Freo did. So um, that's, that's all it's going to be. It's nothing major. And like I said, it's it's not going to become a pattern. We're just um, we're going to see that as an event and move on pretty quick. You, um, with the next three years, where do you see yourself, where do you see yourself becoming? You've played all around the joint. Where, where do you want to entrench yourself? And say you want to be part of the team. Where do you yeah. want to actually entrench yourself and become? Uh, I think long-term goal is, is a midfielder. So um, if that's within the next three years, then great. Um, I've been moving and training a little bit more with the midfield through the pre-season and, and through the JLT games, but ended up down back in JLT too. So um, yeah, it's going to be a bit more of mid-back look. So um, I might not cement a spot in either one. I might be a bit of a sort of floater through the both, but um, they're going to be my two major roles in the team. The midfield seems to be a, a bit of a weak point last season. What have you guys done to address that, and, and what are you expecting for this year ahead? Yeah, oh, we've um, yeah we've had to fill a few gaps with with Mitch and Pruder leaving, obviously, and um, but yeah, boys are, are ready to step into that role, and we've got some new blokes coming in like like Venners and and Pardo and Kurt Mutimer who are, who are playing pretty, pretty well in Waffle as well at the moment. So um, yeah, we we think that we're we're in great hands with with the list we've gotten. Um, it just means that some boys are going to have to step up and, and fill that role. How hard is it to replace the two Brownlee medalists, as you mentioned? Oh yeah, it's obviously you know two great players um, in their own right and and done plenty for the club and for the game. But um, yeah, it's exciting now that we can inject some new talent and um, and we get some fresh looks in there and 
and hopefully the big fella's up and going pretty soon and um, back in the one side and yeah it's um, it's just exciting that now that we've got some some new faces in there and um, we're looking a little bit quicker maybe even so yeah. um, it's a good feeling. How much does Nick change that midfield mix just his dominance in the ruck and, and that ground level as well? Yeah, well, we um, we haven't seen it for a while, so um, it, it'll be exciting when he is back there. But um, yeah, he, he's obviously we see the dominance that he brings to the game, and he really is a fourth midfielder. And um, but we back all our rucks in to, to be that fourth midfielder as well. It's a big focus of ours. So, uh, but obviously, yeah, Nick's um, Nick's positives yeah, they're they're pretty clear, and um, he gives us plenty of dominance at the hand. So um, it'll be exciting. That's not a Willie Rioli down the left lane this morning. Um, how's his ankle looking? Uh, I only had a brief chat to Willie um, yesterday and he said, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a tweak, obviously, and, um, yeah, he's pretty confident that it's, it's not going to be too long at all. I'm not, not sure how long um, it's going to be. He didn't really have an answer, but he's pretty confident that it's pretty minor.